pair script is a set of actions or add-ons to DataCap. It's a separate uh, OCR engine. And these ones you have to do a separate recognition on. So here's your um, fields right here. And I'm going to build out a rule set to do um, just that. OK, so there's two ways you have to do this. There's two parts to it. And the first is, is we have to tell um, each field, tell PowerScript kind of about the field. So we run that at the beginning of the page, at, at the beginning on each field. And at the end, at the end of the page action, remember, the, run the rule set at the start of the field. And at the end of the page, we're going to run the recognize. This will make more sense once I build it. They add a rule set. And this is more of a hand script recognition. So I'm going to rename this hand script recog. And I'm going to change this rule to, um, and I've named mine appropriately. I don't leave them rule one or function one. R hand script. All right, let's see, this is um, R page record and F. If you name your functions, Nicely, it will um, save you when you're trying to do log diving and things like that. So the recognition for this, um, this is just to call um, recognize. And this is the Periscript version. You can do a, a help on this and it'll give you more information. But we first have to tell and kind of tell which fields we're going to recognize. But we're going to do the field level stuff at set field type. And then we're going to do the recognize at the page level. Um, we haven't actually turned this on yet. So when you turn these on, um, I'm going to do this at the end of pages of type HSA funding main. So if I do it on a specific page type, I can turn on um, hand print recognition on one page, page type and, and machine print on another. So I do specifically. If I just said of pages of page type, of type page or like type page, then I'm doing inheritance thing. So everything that has an inheritance of those will come through and get those. But in this case, I'm just do that specific page type. Um, I save that. I don't need to do anything with it yet. I'm going to create another rule. This is called, I'm going to do one for each type of field. I'm going to do the R name recog. Put a couple, and then this is F name recog. And I'm going to add these rules for setting the writing style. There's tons of stuff you can do here, so you, you can spend a um, a lot of time doing this, but the main main ones are set writing style, and you can and I have to all the time too. You look at the help and say, what kind of writing style is it? Um, it's two is handprint. If you do cursive, the only thing set is well, I can do cursive too. So it'll only do this on types of address, first name, middle name, last name fields. Um, yes, yeah, so and we're going to call this a name field anyway, so that's fine. So I can do cursive. I'll set this to one for cursive, and then the other thing one. The other thing I have to do is to say the field type. So these are, Periscripts is really good at kind of doing lookups and knowing more about what kind of field it is so it can do um, some data analysis. And now the field type, what is this? Remember, this is a name field, so we got to go find this. Is it alpha? Is it numeric? Um, is it alphanumeric? An address, an age, an amount, a barcode, a date, a first name, a full name. So this is a full name. So 4096, and these are all just... Bitwise um, identifiers, 4096. So somebody was um, trying to be really performant. The next one, I don't know what else, what other data we're getting off of here. The next one was, oh, it's going to be three, so we don't have the time. We do a social security number and I do the help savings account uh, or the, eight, the account number. So let's do one more add rule because you, you're getting the hang of it. Let's do the account number, our account number. Recog and under Recog, and then from there we've got we're going to do one more lookup on this. Let's get it through. Okay, so we do the same thing on the set. I should just copy it and paste that. I'm going to set the field type. I'm going to get the writing style, and I'm going to do one more thing of set vocabulary. So we're going to create a vocabulary for this. In this case, we're going to set the exact count numbers, but anyway, I'll show you. We're going, to set, we're going to give it a lookup so it makes it even better at, uh, at doing this. Let's do the help on field type again. Remember, this is a number. So I'm just going to say it's 
uh, alphanumeric. Sorry, it took me a while to find it. Alphanumeric, number four. So it's got both numbers and letters. Um, the writing style, again, I think um, once we choose writing style, we have to, we can't use that cursive because it's only, it's not good with alphanumeric. So we're going to do hand print on this one. I'll give you an error. You'll find it in the logs. If you do that, I'll just say, hey, you can't use alphanumeric with writing style of cursive. And a vocabulary. So we're going to create a vocabulary now. And with Periscript and DataCap become these tools. And they are in this DC shared folder, ICRP for Periscript. And then there's this form extra at the very bottom. There's this thing called a vocabulary builder. So a vocabulary editor. Now you can put regular expressions and stuff like that in here, and that'll be nice. But I'm just gonna take the easy route and just get you over the over the hump here for for doing that. And I'm gonna go. What is that account number? It's HS289123. HS89123. So that's one of them. And I'm gonna wait of 15 is like a default, and you can make it whatever you want. There, I I've never found a case where I have higher ones or lower ones. So now I've got this vocabulary. I put all my account numbers in here. I might put, you know, there's tons of help you can get here on how to do it, but this is the, the start of it. Um, now I'm gonna save this as this FXV file, and I'm gonna put it right into my DataCap application folder. So there's C, DataCap, Financial Docs, and this DCO folder. And I'm gonna call it uh, account num.fxv. So now I've got the file there and I've got to go put that folder name in into my system. And the way I'm going to do that is I just cheat a little bit and go and find it here. Financial docs, DCO, and I'm going to take this folder, copy it to the clipboard, come back over to my DataCap studio, and I'm going to put that piece right in here and say backslash count num.fxv. Um, so there's that. I've got that turned on. I think I've got, oh, I didn't attach these. So I've got attached this. Remember, these run at the beginning. The page runs at the end. So you want these to run before the page is actually done. I want this to run on types of name, of type name, right here. And then this one, I want it to run on fields of type account number. And there, I've got my my two fields that are going to be read. And we go back to the same exact thing for this the um, cities and the phone numbers and stuff. Like that. City state zips have some special. You can look up in postal databases and things like that. And I'll leave that for for you. I've struggled with those, so they're not trivial to set up. You might need to ask for some more help. Maybe I'll try to do another video on that, but it's definitely out of the context of trying to do something quick here. I'm running out of time now. I might split this video into two. Okay, so the last thing is I got to go and turn off. I'm going to turn off my recognize rules. Go to my settings here. And remember, we were recognizing this page. We we're saying to load all the zones. We still want to do that. But on the name, I'm not going to read the handprint anymore. I'm going to turn all this off because we're going to use our rule for Periscript to do these. Turn that off. Turning all these off. And because um, if we've got Periscript, let's use it for everything because it's a it's a better engine um, for recognizing uh, the actual text on a page. Uh, it's a big, big window. OK, um, save, close. I've got that turned off. Oh, I do have to add my hand script to my profile here. And I'm going to run it during profiler where I'm doing my other recognize. And it can go right alongside the other recognize, I want to do it before I do my validations. And I'll do my save there and um, come back out. Now, I've got that other batch that was still running. I don't really need it anymore because it's already got stuff recognized in it, so I'm going to delete it. Nice thing you can do is kind of manage your, your batches here. And I'll go through and show you exactly how I start because I say new. In this case, since vScan multi is not the same name as it doesn't find it here for you, so I just choose it. Press play, it's going to read in that file. We'll see it appear here. Now that's the same thing we got last time. I'm going to say advance, it goes to page ID. I click play again, it's going to go to page ID. We know it's going to work because it worked last time. 
Again, it found the right page type. Now, this is where the magic is, where hopefully Periscript worked in these actions. If not, we'll have to dig into the log and figure out what happened. Okay, so I'm going to keep running and make sure that my fields did recognize. And there they are. So, and this one did a lookup. You can go look at the logs, and it did get Kelly. It did get this wrong, Kelly L. Smith instead of K, because my Ks aren't, aren't connected well. But there's things you can do about that, and, um, you know, there's a million ways you can go from here. But that's how you, you hook up ICR. And build an application around ICR and also um, to configure it for uh, Periscript. Uh, thank you.